You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by Sioux Falls Job Fair. Uh, that's coming up, uh, what is today? Uh, no, it's not uh, this weekend. Next Saturday. Monday Holy the, cow. Monday the yeah. 16th. Saturday the 28th. You got a week to pull this off. Oh, we're going to pull it off. And if, if you happen to have a business that wants to have a booth, we still have a little bit of room there. Reach out and we will hook you up. And I'm super excited. This week we're going to be announcing all of the different uh, breakout sessions for job seekers. Oh, we got some cool stuff. And it's all free. That part is free. If you're looking for a job, come to the event next Saturday for free. You know, I've done a lot of hiring in my life. Yeah. Which is strange. And and I've I've hired some amazing people. Nice. But here's the thing. This is a job fair, correct? Yeah. And it is fair yes. season. So yeah. if you want to stand out, and here's just a little tip from moi. That's French for moi. Yeah. <laughs> If you can somehow figure out how to put your resume on a funnel cake, because oh. <laughs> it's a job fair. It's a job fair. Nobody's going to see that coming, man. I like that. It continually tells me we need a petting zoo at our job fair, but no, we're not going to have that. So. Well, it can't be that hard. If you yeah, call Ranger Dan, you sue petting. It was just a possum in a box. Yeah, right? I know. Well, he and I are not on speaking terms. I keep getting letters from who he claims is his attorney, but I'm pretty sure it's him. There's a lot of typos. I understand that's getting kind of kind of yeah. <clears throat> ugly. Let's see. What is going on? Kicking off the day with a little. Glenn Strange has a birthday today. Okay. Glenn Strange. Yes. Glenn Campbell? I try to find people where John has no idea because otherwise things just get out of control. Right. Hmm. Glenn Strange, most famous for Sam the bartender in Gunsmoke. Oh, yeah. Oh. It was okay. Glenn Strange. That's, that's that right. Was. He played, played Sam the bartender in Gunsmoke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Well, let's raise the bar a little. Uh, Madonna, 63 today. Okay. Nice. Man, she was fantastic. I just loved her love back in the Heidi day. said was. <laughs> she was. I, I, I mean, you can't, you can't say is. It's a uh, broke the eighties wide open. That uh, oh yeah, her, her LP like a virgin. That, yeah, she was amazing. Three hundred million copies. Yeah. Every I mean, girl wanted to be her. Massive. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Kathy Lee Gifford is is sixty nine today, which is strange. She was married to, of course, Frank Gifford. Was a uh, halfback for the New York uh, Giants and a pretty good sports caster. He also has a birthday today. Nice. Oh, they yeah. shared a birthday. They did, yeah. But, you know, Frank, he was 22 years older and, you know, right. things, things happen and he's no longer with us. Mm. Speaking of sports, it was 1954. Sports Illustrated Magazine is first published. Nice. Ah. And if you could find that original copy, there is a glaring omission. Oh, what's that? There is not a photo of a single athlete kneeling during the National Anthem. Oh, wow. <laughs> and if you can find a photo of the original swimsuit issue, there's a female on it. Really? Yeah. It's, times have changed. The huh. most stolen item from, from public libraries in America oh, yeah? is Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Yeah, is it really? Um, yeah. Yep. Yep, they'll put it in there, and it's just gone. It's Probably just gone. Not this year. <laughs> no, <clears throat> they actually had seven extra copies dropped off. <laughs> 1962, Richard Starkey, we know him as Ringo Starr, this day replaces Pete Best as the Beatles drummer. Okay. Yeah, and Pete, like he didn't care. It's like whatever. A couple years later, he cared a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it was 1987. Back to Music, Bon Jovi released their third album, Slippery When Wet. Okay. This would rock at the super. That was a great super, album. Oh, it became really uh, Billboard's well, yeah. top selling album of the year. Yeah. You give great a little bad album. name, Living on a Prayer, Wanted Dead or Alive, Raise Your Hands, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. You go. I know now. You know. We all know. We do know. And we just move forward, which is nice. We're going to do that. It is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Now with more Ferris. Absolutely free. We added an extra bonus break. So. Fantastic. Yeah, so With gluten-free options. Got, got rid of that uh, Ranger Dan guy and a little more Dan Ferris. And, uh, uh, you and should have a little more respect. We, I'm, I'm respecting the heck out of you because it didn't cost me an extra Talking dime. About for Ranger Dan. <laughs> we played it right. <clears throat> it is uh, brought to you, by the way, by 
SiouxFallsJobFair.com. I'm Nick from PureCanacompany.com. We create the purest form of CBD with just three ingredients. CBD, as simple as one, two, three. Everything is 100% natural, GMO-free, gluten-free, kosher, and made in the USA. From the soil to the oil, we provide the purest form of CBD. We also keep the prices low so we can help as many people as possible. Learn more at PureCanacompany.com. Oils, lotions, bath bombs, and more. Use promo code RADIO to save 10% at P-U-R-E-C-A-N. A pure can of company And now stuff Dan finds interesting. It is time for stuff Dan finds interesting. And uh, Mr. Ferris, on this Monday, what kind of stuff are you finding interesting over there? Well, you know, we're huge proponents, big backers of uh, of our military. Absolutely, yeah. and, and every women. day. <clears throat> Was not even aware this was a thing, but it was still a thing, and now it's not going to be a thing anymore. Uh, Tuesday of last week, United States Air Force broke with its other branches by announcing that pantyhose will now be optional for female airmen wearing skirts in uniform. I guess I didn't know they were a requirement. It's That's been part when, yep, when huh. when U.S. airwomen are, are in uniform with skirt, they have to wear pantyhose. For decades, women in the Air Force who wore skirts with their dress blues also had to wear hosiery, i.e. pantyhose beneath them. The problem, pantyhose is a hassle. And it is years ago, uh, me and Dan Christopherson, my old partner, doing a radio show, and I don't know what exactly happened, but we ended up wearing pantyhose to do the show. Okay. <laughs> they were horrifying. Every day, or that was just They're a one-day thing? extremely uncomfortable. It got real tuggy real fast. Did you well, do that every day or just that. one day? It was just one day. Okay. Well, but, um, sure. In public. Okay. They used to be trendy and now now people just really don't wear them very often anymore I, so I, it's probably a good thing that they're keeping up with the times yeah i had to wear them for a, a couple of different events and i called mine manny hose but they were still pantyhose and they were not good they're uncomfortable yeah and again yeah. i i didn't know it was still a thing but it has been up until oh, well till well, last uh last week and every single every single uh Air Force uh, woman uh, asked about this. They're just going, thank you. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> thank you very much. So I just, I found that interesting. I also find that interesting. But as far as I know, other branches of the military, I think that's still maybe a, a thing. Huh. And if I were actually doing my job, I would have looked into that. <laughs> wow. It's, it's almost like we jumped the gun by giving him that news segment at the end of the show. <laughs> For those of you who have not uh, had a chance to listen a little later in the program, Dan now has a brand new feature. It debuted last week, but t- today being the beginning of a new week, this is kind of the launch. Today's the day like the music is rolling out. It's it's, it's a big deal. It's If it's news, it's news to me with Dan Ferris. <laughs> now that I'm hearing that you're just shooting from the hip on this stuff, I'm having second thoughts. Yeah, well, wait, wait till the newscast. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dan, thank you for that update, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> it is uh, the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, and it's brought to you by... SiouxFallsJobFair.com. Hi, I'm John, and I'm here to show small businesses that radio is a great investment. So, what do you have here? This is a Chinese Ming vase. Wow, that looks expensive. And a bit fragile. Yes, it's valued at... Oh my God, what are you doing? Hey, that was fragile. Why did you do that? To show everyone that radio (laughs) advertising is a much better investment than some old pottery. I sure hope you had insurance on that thing. Let BetterResultsAdvertising.com bring your message to life right here on the radio. Here's the legal lady. No priceless heirlooms were destroyed. It was all in your mind. Thanks to BetterResultsAdvertising.com. Time now for your morning coffee break. Brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. Mr. Dan Ferris back in with uh, some some really important... Is this important stuff you got today? What do you have here? No, I just uh, really... You don't think about it a lot because we're, here we are in you know the biggest city in South Dakota. But keep in mind, without agriculture, we ain't nothing. No, we right. ain't nothing. South Dakota runs on our farmers and ranchers. Yeah. And I came across a <clears throat> little story here based on statistics and dollars spent, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The top agriculture products in the state of South Dakota. Some were kind of surprising, actually. Okay. As far as what's produced and what kind of dough, Ray, me coming in at number 10 for his top egg products are chicken eggs. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Producers yeah. rake in close to 80 million a year. Okay. And I did not know this, but U.S. poultry farms provide over 10% of the entire world's egg supply. Okay. So these things get on chips and sure. grains and everything else, go everywhere. So, yeah, thought that was uh, kind of cool. It was very cool. Did not know this. Turkeys at number nine. 
Oh, wow. Oh. Turkey producers in South Dakota, uh, they're banking around 160 mil a year. Oh, wow. Yep. Over 675 million pounds of turkey. Wow. What's the number eight? Come on, come on. Anything egg? Chicken? No, 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 no. Hey. Hey what? Hey. 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 I love it. Do that again, Heidi. <laughs> hey. That's awesome, and I'm just not sure why. Yeah, almost 200 million a huh. year just in, in, in hay. That's a, that's a big deal. Apparently, animals eat that. They do. And I kind of sort of knew this. Sunflowers, Sunflowers ranks number seeds, seven. Sunflower seeds, yeah. We're up almost 220 million bucks a year. Holy cow. That's nuts. Isn't that I something? I would have never thought there was that much money in that. And uh, dairy products at okay, number yeah. six. Yeah. Close to 450 million bucks. Taking it to the bank with that. Uh, this, you know, I picked this as number one, but it's not. It's at number five. That's hogs. Okay. Mm. Clocking in at about four hundred sixty million a year, depending on, of course, the market and pricing and everything sure. else. But that's just kind of an average over the past five or so years. Now then, how about a little wheat action at number four? Here we go, wheat. Can you say over a half a billion dollars? Sure, you Ooh. can. How about that? Number three is soybeans. Soybeans, yep. Almost two billion. Again, Holy depending cow. on. Yes, depending on. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Number Four. two, any guesses? Corn? Yeah, Heidi's got it. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you the amount of you. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, What's the amount? Uh, First two's the amount. Oh, geez. Wow, you guys don't trust each other. Uh, 2.5 billion bucks. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> if you need me, I'll be in the other room. I'm, uh, I'm no longer up there. <laughs> South Dakota's number one egg brought a cattle and calves on Ooh. the hook, baby. Nice. About 2.7 steaks going. billion. Dollars. Love it. I'd like to bite into the best cattle I've ever had, DakotaPrimeMeats.com. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that uh, their cows are made of more steak than other cows. And awesome guys. I mean, uh, what an, he's just John Baldwin, neat. Baldwin. Yeah. I've met him. Nice guy. Nice family, yeah. by the yeah, way. Yeah, very nice They were family. at the fair last week, and when I went out, I recorded a little break with him, and it played multiple times. But I put him on the spot. I was like, you're going to sing the jingle? And he did. He did. Yeah, <laughs> was like, that oh, was I so didn't cute. That. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Well, thanks, Dan. That was, that great was very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our, yeah. Go right. South Dakota Farmers and Ranchers. People rock. Yeah, they do. Uh, are you ready for the debut, the official debut with the music and the official everything? Oh, heavens dance? no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Too much no. fanfare. Ready or not, here it comes. No. That is on the way. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SiouxFallsJobFair.com. I kind of feel like I've been talking about BetterCreditCards.com forever now, but we want to mention that BetterCreditCards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. Why? Why should that matter to you? Because this can save you money every single month. There's no fee to check it out. So when you get a minute, click on the website bettercreditcards.com and see if we can help you find a better credit card. Do it today. Bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. We're going to brighten your day right now with some positive news. Usually, we tell you about the positive news before it happens, but today, we're going to tell you about the positive news after it happened. Yesterday, at the Denny Sanford Premier Center, at the the, uh, Sioux Falls Convention Center, Howard Woodfield, that area, I don't exactly know how you describe it, but it was kind of in between all of that stuff. In the back area there, there was a group of people who got together to uh, do a thing called Kids Cuts. And they've been doing this for many, many years. I was there playing music. So this is the first year we were invited to it. And it was such a great event. But at the very end of the event, I finally had a chance. We were going to try to do this last week, but he was busy getting ready. So I was trying to connect with Ty in advance to talk about the event before it happened. And since we didn't get to do that before it happened, I said, well, let's at least wrap up and, and do a little interview talking about what we just finished. So this was recorded yesterday, right after the event, and this is Ty Wilson. we got Ty joining me right now. You guys had an amazing event uh, wrapped up on Sunday. Tell me a little bit about the event, first of all. How long have you guys been doing this? Uh, so we've been doing this. This is the, the event number five, or the five years that we've been doing it. Unfortunately, COVID last year kind of stopped us from officially making five. So this is number five uh, that we got going on for this event. It started off at 9 o'clock this morning, and we had uh, nine people cutting, and 
two braiders. And how many people came through for the kids' cuts this year? How many haircuts do you do? Any, any idea? Um, I want to guesstimate right now at this point about 160 haircuts and braids that um, took place today. That is really cool. And, and this is a, a really neat thing that as people are getting ready to go back to school, this is a really cool thing. There's a need, and you guys are filling a need. So thank you for doing that, man. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and this is just one of the one of the great ways that we can get back to our community. Because if it wasn't for the community, we wouldn't be able to do what we do, right? So the community comes in, and they support us daily. And this is just one way that we can say, hey, thank you for coming in and supporting us, and let's show some love back to the community. The thing that's really cool is you had a lot of different people from different places helping out. Do, do I, I feel like I'm putting on your spot uh, asking you who because we don't want to miss somebody, but let's at least talk about some of them here. All right, so we had Supercut show up today. We had Alpha Barbershop come up today. We had Carl Party from Madison at his barbershop come down today. And, of course, Five Star Cuts um, come in and just help. And so, yeah, we, it was really cool to be able to show the community that we're all in the same industry and that we work at different places, but we can come together as one and give back. And it was cool. Side by side, you guys were working together. Even though you're, you're kind of competing in, in the real world, but you're not competing for this event today you guys were working together absolutely you know and it's, it's never really truly a competition you know especially when we do something like this and I love that Rudy was here giving out some tacos so you had some people getting some food we oh, got yeah. to set up music and do that there were some inflatables just a really cool fun festive event uh, you guys expecting to do it again next year, you think? Absolutely. And we're going to go bigger and better and more bold. That is fantastic. Thank you very much for doing what you do. Thank you so much. And if people would like to find you when you're not set up doing free haircuts, how do they find you? Is there a place to find you online or come and see in person? How do they find you? Absolutely. Website, 5 com. That's 5 com. That's where you can go on the website. Otherwise, we do do walk-ins every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Very nice. Ty, thank you for all you do, man. Absolutely. Thank you so much for uh, have, uh, coming out and sharing this opportunity with us today. It was a blast. And a huge thank you to April over at Black Hills Federal Credit Union. She's the one that invited me, and, and she was running all over the place here. So a huge thank you to everybody that helped make this happen. And again, we're going to throw some photos from the event at facebook.com slash sunnyradio. And I did put a link to that, and I have some photos there as well. And a huge thank you to everybody who was a part of the event yesterday. What an amazing thing. whole lot of people that came through got haircuts and uh, had a lot of fun. So again, couldn't have done it without all the volunteers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I think it's amazing, all of these people coming together to help. So uh, again, if you'd like to see the details, I've got a link and some photos at facebook.com slash sunny radio and facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Addiction is a problem for many, and addiction can drive away those you love the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. TimeForRehab.com reminds you that you don't need to let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. We want to help. TimeForRehab.com. That's TimeForRehab.com. Now from the sunny news studios, high above the city of Sioux Falls, we have <laughs> Mr. Dan Ferris. Yeah, and again, I can't, I can't stress enough. I'm, I'm a hard-hitting news guy. I'm a news yes, journalist. I can tell from this music. Yeah, well, this is pretty fantastic, right? <laughs> you know, all, all I care about is the, the who, what, where, why, how. No bias. I will not interject my own personal feelings because it's the news. Maybe some win here and there. So it should be. Let's see, uh, National, what's going on? Some of the big stories, uh, wildfires still flaming all over Northern California. Wow. Again, year after year. Hey, two words, hippies, forest management. Right, exactly. <laughs> this makes zero sense to me. A New York law group is working to undo Indiana abortion law even though it's virtually none of their business. So they're okay. In, okay. And also, uh, let's see, uh, Taliban, uh, Taliban, Taliban, uh, they're burning, pip, 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 pip. Ah, Spawn of Satan Taliban has <laughs> overrun and seized most key cities in Afghanistan. Yep. It took them all about 10 minutes. Yep. Uh, hmm. That's too bad. Don't know what caused that. Totally baffling. Little... Uh, <laughs> I know it caused it. <laughs> little, uh, little closer to home here. Hey, City Parks and Rec, which really... You know what? They were hiring all summer yeah. and raising the hourly rates right. on and on and on. And still, yeah. 
didn't manage to get like all the public pools open. Like Frank Olson never did open. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and I don't know whether McKinnon did or not, but I know Frank Olson for a fact did not. Anyway, they're gearing up now to hire for fall. There are fall opportunities like the 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 uh, Aquatic Center. Yeah, yeah. Looking for people to, to do that. A real flexible. It can be 20, 28 hours a week, blah, 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 blah. Maybe college kids would be interested in right. night shifts. And did you know we have not one, not two, not three, not four, but five community centers? We do? Wow. And those got to be staff too, looking hmm. for the same thing. Now, here's the thing. If you're interested in one of those gigs with Park and Rec, getting into the school year, and I can't stress this enough, the city is flush with cash, mm. literally sitting they on really are. bales of $100 bills, hmm. tens of millions of dollars. Yeah, so it's in, nuts. Get your little application, and whoever you're dealing with, so ever doing the higher end, just say, hey, you know what? I want a pretty fat salary, a guaranteed pension, <laughs> matching, they got it. matching funds, 401k, company car, <laughs> company car parking space, <laughs> five weeks paid vacation. <laughs> And I don't know, what are you going to say? Can I do this? It's like, hey, sign here. It's no big deal. Just uh, just giving you some tips there. What else going on? Uh, Mayor Paul Tenhank, and I guess this is going before our uh, commissioners. Mayor Paul has come out. Medical marijuana is, is a thing now perfectly legal. In fact, the first uh, medical marijuana dispensary opened up in Flandreau. Yeah. Innovation, yeah. As far as I know, and that was two months ago. I think so. Months. July. Uh, uh, maybe last month. Done well over a million in sales already. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not making it just... just well, Crazy. this is the news. You don't make things up. No. Uh, Sioux Falls would cap the number of medical cannabis dispensaries in the city to five. Yeah. Okay. So it'd be limited to five. That the meeting is, what, is tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. That's okay. what the, the, the mayor is proposing as far as licensing ordinances go for this. Ordinance would limit to medical cannabis dispensaries to five, ten acres. says limiting the number of dispensaries balances access to health and safety in the community et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I urge the city council to approve this balanced proposal. Well, you should have tried this with craft breweries, banks, and, uh, I don't know, <laughs> strip malls. What car washes. <laughs> awesome. Car washes. <laughs> yeah. There's Isn't that crazy? One. They just keep bringing it up. He's like, this job site I drive by. I'm like, what's going to be there? Yeah. And I jokingly uh, said a car, car wash. wash. Then you turn the corner. It is a car yeah. wash. Well, some of them are starting to look like the Taj Mahal. I mean, <laughs> They're pretty decent. They, they really are. We had our family photos town. taken. At, we did. At we a really car wash. did. That's fantastic. Our family photo was at a car wash. Well, I do my own car. <laughs> to avoid them, really. But so. I used to, you see some of these car washes. It's like I, I we, you know, some of these newer ones. Plus, like I, I just want like your basic wash. That'll be three hundred dollars. <laughs> right, no doubt. <laughs> three, what are you trying to build nine more cars? Oh yeah, I guess you are. <laughs> hundred dollars. Hey, from the go. sunny ninety-three-three news studios. I'm hard-hitting journalist and fairs if it's news. It's news to me. Brought to there you we go. by Sioux Falls, jobfair.com. I'm Nick from purecannacompany.com. We create the purest form of CBD with just three ingredients. CBD, as simple as one, two, three. Everything is 100% natural, GMO-free, gluten-free, kosher, and made in the USA. From the soil to the oil, we provide the purest form of CBD. We also keep the prices low so we can help as many people as possible. Learn more at purecannacompany.com. Oils, lotions, bath bombs, and more. Use promo code radio to save 10% at P-U-R-E. C-A-N-A, purecannacompany.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Monday, August 16th, 2021. Equity shrugged off another hot month of inflation data last week in favor of earnings. The S&P 500 moved up to set a new all-time high Friday. The question now is whether or not the index can keep it. Along with inflation, the Delta COVID variant has emerged as a real threat to the market and could have a serious impact on the second half of the year. Estimates for earnings continue to rise, but the pace has slowed over the past week as a rising number of companies warn the market about the second half outlook. This week, the focus will be on the consumer. Not only are we expecting a read on retail sales, but earning reports from a host of major retailers, including Home Depot and Walmart. The big box retailers are expected to post slight year-over-year revenue declines in a face of last year's tough comparisons. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.